So I'm gonna have a lot of info, and I'd get him away from those barbarians if we can. This direction? Yeah. I could tell you the spearmen won't usually come out, but yeah, let's be let's safe. Play it safe, yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking I want my warrior back, um, or do I? Or do I want a granary? Granary gives you food and housing, which will help your city grow faster. Um, kind of want my warrior back, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Just to have some level of defense. Yeah, some level of defense, some level of military. I think that's smart. One thing a, a lot of mid-level Civ players will do that you don't really see the experts doing is skimping on military. Because it doesn't actually end up saving you anything in the long run <laughs> to skimp on military. Uh, oh, I can promote him this turn. Definitely gonna go battle cry. I guess you will. We are Norse. Every we care not for this defense. I get a trade route. Awesome. So, do you want to swap out any policies? Um, I'm thinking I might go care of care of anniversaries. Yep, instead yeah. of God King, just because I'm I am about to establish a trade route with that city state, and I want plus two gold from it. Gotcha. Where is Mister Scout headed? Um, you know what? I think I'm going to send him past that city-state and off into the the wild blue east Over yonder. this, this area? Here? West, yep. Alright. And I can choose a civic. Oh yeah, you got to put your builder inside the city because there's a scout marauding around. Alright, what's next? So your civics, um, you could go for early empire, which allows you to make open border agreements. Um... Production towards settlers, reduced cost of purchase, purchasing tiles. You go towards mysticism, great profit and great scientist points. Let's you build the Oracle, which is a culture and faith building. I'm honestly thinking I want military tradition, so I'm thinking of going up through craftsmanship. Flanking and support combat bonuses for all combat units. Very good to have. Yeah, I want Great it. general points, production towards heavy and light cavalry units. Yeah, I'm going. All right. Uh, this guy... Send him north. Still just heading yep. up this way, kind of? I just want to see what's up there. I'm going to have a lot of knowledge, a lot of information about the world at large. The Canadians are uh, building up some forces. I know. That's <laughs> another reason why I want mine back. I'm surrounded, I feel like, by some powerful city-states. Yeah. Well, you'd also get a plus 7% combat bonus against city-states for playing as Barbarossa, so... This is going to be a slaughter. And you you have some fish over there. There are. This would be a great place for a city. But it's right next to the city state. So I might... I might have... I, I might see some battering rams in my future. Alrighty. Alright. So um, these yeah. guys are just continuing along their paths. Mm-hmm. I'll actually move them manually so we can see where they're going instead of waiting until whenever. Casey is very confused right now. Close. <laughs> Please. Right wait. on. Okay. Um, I would definitely make every effort to eventually uh, turn Soul into a tributary. Get those three envoys. Yeah, or just conquer them. <laughs> Depending on how I'm feeling. Alright. My city is expanding. Yeah, your, your borders are going kind of nuts here. So I want to establish a trade route pretty soon with, uh, with that city-state. Well, what? let's see. Can we... Outright buy a trader with gold. Not quite Not yet. Not quite yet, but I think I might. A few more turns you will be able to. I think that would be worth it, too. Yes. That's another thing that I had that I had to learn to go from being an okay Civ player to being a... Uh, but you got to spend your gold. That's what it's for. Good Civ player is, yeah. Don't, uh, don't just let gold sit around in your treasury. That's what it's for, is yeah. to buy stuff. Yeah, I want to complete their quest. And eventually, I think that city-state is the one I'm going to try to get three envoys in first. Alright. So, yeah, let's just... Keep looking. 
Keep scouting around Seoul. Yeah, keep finding out what whack part of the world you spawned in. <laughs> yes. We got some deer. Keep going. We got some spices. By Toronto. Yeah. So I'm, I'm wondering, we might not even be on the same continent. We might not. Um, actually, I'm fairly certain we're not on the same continent. I could be wrong, but I feel like... Okay, so there's... So my sieve is probably about at this latitude, unless I'm in the opposite hemisphere. And based on what I've seen of the terrain so far, yeah, it wouldn't really make sense for us to be on the same continent. It wouldn't. That's it's going to be, be really interesting. interesting discovering the, the geography here, yeah. This, uh, the world that was generated here is uh, extremely interesting. I'm going to purposely not use the continents map mode to figure out whether or not we're on the same of astrology has no right to call himself a physician. All right. That's probably not really true in the modern day. But no. <laughs> That's why he's called Hippocrates. Yes. Amsterdam. Am I the first one to find them? I am. So they're going to give me gold in my capital. They want me to build an encampment. I think I can do that. Obviously I can't yet, but I will at some point here. All right, so I have I have this guy now. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So every nation lives by exchanging. I unlock that automatically, more or less. I'm going to keep my policies where they are, and I'm going to build fishing boats. And I'm going to build two wheat farms. And I'm going to choose my research. Jade requires mining. I think you're going to want to go that direction, my friend. Yeah, let's go mining. Let's go swell. Let's, I don't know if I want to go straight into bronze work. Let's get writing first. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like that's going to be important. Um, okay, so. Holy site. I can't buy this tile, I guess, can I? Probably the best I'm gonna get for this city. Because I do for right want, now. I do want a holy site in my capital. Um, and then I'm gonna go for probably mysticism. Probably. Let's see, oracle must be built on hills. Actually, let's go for drama and poetry. Yeah. Cause that's the other district I definitely wanted my capital as a theater square. Right on. Okay. Keep. Due west? Yes. I want to know everything about where I am. I want to know. Can, Can you, you show me? Phil Collins. Northeast or northwest? Uh, <laughs> uh, on that note, northeast. All right. <laughs> Phil Collins is a G, man. He is. He the, is. He is the OG. He is. He is one of the the O's of the G's. Dude. Can, oh, G's. That dude can drum. Yes. I could feel something in the air tonight. Definitely. Well, you got some crab. Got crab. We've got our priorities straight. Crab is high on the list. Yeah. So this is. For me to be on the same continent as you, this would need to, like, arc up and, like, you would be over here somewhere. Mm-hmm. Because this is... I bet I'm in the northern hemisphere. That's my guess. Probably. I bet, I bet we're not even close together at all. Uh, which is good in some ways because we're it's not gonna be competing, narratively interesting. competing for resources, but bad because oh, we I am. can't help each other too easily. Kumasi. Um... I seriously doubt I'm the first. I am. You are the first, so more bonus culture for you. And they want you to construct an encampment. That's happening soon, so. Let's see. Can you buy a trader yet? Not yet. Almost. You can on your next turn. And what do I want? Now? As far as, uh, what do I want? I want to probably take advantage of stone mining here shortly. I might need to go mining after my next oh, piece yeah. of research. Yep, mining, irrigation definitely are going to I want be... to be able to access all my research tiles. Let's see. Man, there's so many mountains. I know. We we spawned on a young planet. 
I think that is obvious. Well, I didn't even set it like but I didn't it can even still set happen. that setting. Yeah, so it just happened to generate a lot of mountain chains. Uh, all right. Knowledge of masonry that'll, that'll be work. Useful. Thank you. Um, we're gonna build a farm. Excellent. Let's see. The incense is gonna be in range. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to end up founding a shit city up here to get access to copper. Lots of copper. Yeah, like right there, I guess. You're gonna have a copper mining hub, though. Yeah. It could be a freaking penal colony where you send all your... <laughs> go yeah, mine copper. I guess. For the rest of your days. Alright. You wanna keep going yep. north of this guy? Until wa I'm going north of this scout until water, man. Alright. And next turn, we're gonna buy a trader. Because I want to accomplish that quest. That'll be a great early boost. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot to check on your finances for that. This is a fantastic place for a city, except that Amsterdam is right there. So take it. Yeah, I'm going to have to conquer... Some city-states. All of my neighboring city-states, probably. Uh, let's see. We got one more farm to build. Writing yes. and sharing. All right. The German it's language the human condition now exists in a written form. Thoughts, ideas, opinions. Thank you for your contribution, Sean Bean. Yes, thank you. And much. I'm thinking I gotta go mining. Mining, got it. Yeah, I need to. I need to be able to exploit those wonderful resource tiles surrounding my capital. You know. So, do you want to buy a trader with gold, or do you want to produce one? Um, you know what? Let's produce one. Let's let the gold accumulate, so we have our option of maybe doing a settler here shortly. Gotcha. That's my thought. Gotcha. All right, unit needs orders. Oh, because your him. warrior is ready to rock. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah, he's gone. All right, Tuesday's Keep going gone west. in the wind. Wow, maybe some possible standoff between Jakarta and. Uh... I think they're all probably going after the same barbarian camp. Because I don't see them declare war on each other. All right, other, we right? found a lake, it would appear. It is... Or a tributary. It's a coast. Yeah, it might be an inland sea or it might be the ocean. We are not... We we'll, can't we'll be find sure out. Yet. That's going to be that scout's uh, mission. Yeah. I think we've spawned an incredibly interesting area. It is very interesting. Like, most of the maps I've played of Civ Five so far were did not have this interesting a terrain. It's almost a little bit Tolkien. Like, with the giant ma encircling mountain chains like that's it's a little bit fantasy almost but in a, in a cool way not in like oh absolutely irritating way okay we got fish we got jade one two three ah see that's the thing i just want to burn amsterdam and found a city like right then here do it. to get access to those fish didn't do it yeah like so. i think that's uh that sounds good to me oh interesting oh because it's still a little wonky. It's because I still had a movement point left on my on my builder, so it wanted to like, give me All the right. opportunity to use that. There and you go, I've, man. Uh, and that builder is exhausted, I think. Grow your civilization to at least six population for early empire. I think we can do that. We've got plenty of food, for sure. we got some nice little Norse-looking far farms here. Hey, your city's booming, man. Yeah. All right. And me, I probably have the most sophisticated cartography of any nation yeah. in the world. So how do you want to how do you want to go about um, go go east, follow the east, land. Follow the coast. Yeah. Gotcha. So we got some bananas. We're getting into some tropics. Yeah. All right. Uh okay, there's a scout over here. Probably want to chase him off. I do. Tile improvements. All right. Is, oh, he found a village, but we can't get to it until next turn. Right on. I'll take the bonuses. So I'm thinking we we might be on outlying continents because we've run into so few other civilizations so far that they must all be clubbed together on some giant which is going to be interesting. Mass. Yeah. It's going to allow us to become powers, almost like almost like Japan did. 
You yeah. Know, the the relative isolation is going to come in handy, I believe. So I'm just going to follow the course of this river down to kind of see where it goes. Right on. And then I'm going to bring my warrior back to start preparing my army of conquest. Let's see if I can... Can I purchase a settler? Not yet. Oh yeah, they're really expensive. They are. I might buy a trader just so I can... Was that Soul's Quest? Oh no, that was one of your city-states. Mm -hmm. And I have a trader building to accomplish that. Yeah, I'll wait for now. Uh, attack. You could attack him across the river. It's a scout. It's still still a victory. It's not an overwhelming victory, but a victory is a victory. Keep going. Man, this is a really interesting start. I, it's almost like a fantasy world. I, that's exactly what I was saying, yeah. Oh, you, you got the... North... The dude, yeah. Let's go say hi oh, yeah. to the deer real quick. Yeah, I don't. It, I missed what bonus you got from the village, but you got something. I wish it would let us see AI turn. I'm gonna actually change and see, check and see if that's an option. Because normally you can see AI turns. We don't really have any AI in our. Move it, disabled. Tuner, visor, turns between auto saves. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I guess you... in hot seat mode you just can't do it. Okay, so I've got a pretty good idea what you're around of what what uh, what is nearby. All right, he's gonna go north, hug the coast. Gotcha. Um. Oh, hey! Sumeria showed up with their freaking donkey cart to help you kill, clear out the barbarians. I'll take it. I would honestly just heal for, yes. for now, yeah. Um, yeah, keep exploring. And when I get a trade route, my economy is going to be able to support a lot more things. I yeah. want to start beefing up my military. I really do. It's always a good idea. No man ever wetted Pottery! And then left it. As if they... Yeah, okay. Sorry, Sha, I didn't mean to cut you off there, but it's, uh... He does have a voice, like... Just like a delicious fried food. It's just... <laughs> you want it, and then you want more of it, and you know you shouldn't have it. But then you go watch Fellowship of the Ring to get more of it. <laughs> you would watch Season 1 of Game of Thrones, but the ending is a little heartbreaking to you. Yeah. By the way, I don't really care if that's a spoiler. If you don't know that by now, well, get on board. <laughs> you just said it's heartbreaking. I don't think they can even really surmise anything from that other than something bad happens. But really, you should you should know that the story of the first season of Game of Thrones by now. Slash first book. Yeah. But I said first season because that's what features Sean being. Right. If there could be an audiobook of the Game of Thrones, you know, well, there is, but it's really bad, unfortunately. I, I'm so saying my, I, I want craftsmanship. Sean Bean to read it. Gives yeah. Useful objects, such as wickerwork picnic baskets. Production towards builders, 50% production towards ancient and classical. Mailing. I like it. Do you yes. want to use any of these? Um. Hmm. Because double experience for recon units is semi worthless. Um. Go with the gauche. Yeah. A gogi. A gogi. Yep. Yeah. Iagogi. I could use that extra production towards my military units, honestly. And how this... would they? Okay, who drew this map? Because that kind of boat did not exist in 3000 BC. Who would? Who would draw that? That's made up. That's fantasy. You can't build a boat like that. 